Hey everyone, Namaste and welcome to another problem solving session at Master DSA. So today we will be solving another question from code is army sheet. Okay, so you know what today's question is kind of confidence booster question <laughs> because this is very simple. Okay, so let's directly get into the question. Okay. Okay, so what question says? So there will be an array. Okay, and you have to find the maximum number okay and you have to find the smallest number okay so when you will find these two numbers you just have to return though return the number in the form of pair okay as you can see in this array the minimum number is one and maximum number was what is it ten thousand okay so i hope you get it now you know what what's the interesting thing about this question is you will be able to think of logic you will be able to code it correctly you will be able to run in different ides but it won't get submitted on this platform in especially in java if you are coding in java let me uh, show you one more wonderful thing if you go if you will go on and now you will just explore this solution kind of thing <laughs> you won't see the java solution here as well okay so that's why this question is uh, interesting and you will be seeing that how to return value in the form of pair okay okay so what's the brute force approach that comes to your head simply uh, i think you can guess if array is sorted so jo sabse bada wala value hota hai that always lies at the end of the array and its smallest value always lies at the first index correct okay suppose array was something like 1 2 3 4 and 5 so bhai max value is this minimum value is this just return it okay so the brute force approach will be just shorting the array sort the array return uh, last and first index as minimum and max your question is solved but here it is mentioned in the question you have to solve it in big o of n time complexity and space complexity would be big o of one means you cannot use extra spaces okay so let's see what we will do in that case hmm so you know what i won't code i will just just show you the solution why because i hope you can think of the logic so i will just so show that to you and i will discuss few important things okay so the one thing that you can do here is you can initialize the minimum value with the maximum value and max value with the minimum value okay why i am doing so here is the question why i am doing so okay suppose uh, in the array we have to find the minimum value okay so a uh, minimum value kitni ja sakti hai what can be the minimum value that can be anything okay so that's the reason i have initialized it with the maximum value means minimum mein i have stored the maximum value as maximum is possible okay and i am just comparing isse chhota kuch hai kya array mein agar hai to just put it just put it in the minimum value simple okay what i have done same same in the max maximum number mein i have just put it minimum value minimum value as minimum as possible bhai agar isse bada kuch mil jaye is array mein so just isko store kar de max ki value mein aap okay i hope you get it okay okay let's move forward at the end what i have done i have simply returned the pair i have simply returned pair now this is how we return pair in java and you won't find this solution on youtube as well my dear very sad <laughs> you know so return new pair because pair class has all already provided in the gfg so that's why we have to return in this form return pair min and max first value will be minimum another will be max and i hope you got the logic now the one more thing which i just wanted to discuss over here is you can write in this form as well you can write the logic in this form as well why why i am saying so just read the constraint here it is mentioned in the question that the values the value of the array at any index will be always positive will be always live from index Uh, means will uh, the values will be from 1 to 10 to the power 12 okay so that's the reason all the value is positive and in the case when all the values are positive 
we can write something like this but if it is mentioned in the caution that values can be negative as well on that time we use this kind of condition so most of the time people only use this long or end as per the caution okay so i hope you go get get the caution and if there is any doubt go to the github repo and you, your doubt will get resolved okay so see you